Every year, millions of surgeries are performed, and in each one, sutures play a pivotal role. Ethicon has built its legacy by providing groundbreaking sutures that surpass the standards for quality and innovation. But you knew that. In this three-part series, we'll go under the microscope to reveal how Ethicon sutures are actually made and how, through premium needles, advanced packaging and consistent performance, they have become the wound closure product that surgeons trust. This is Beyond Legacy. First up, Beyond Thread. Today on Beyond Legacy, we take an inside look at how Ethicon creates one of the most critical and trusted parts of a suture, the thread. Ethicon has been in the game forever. They've been making sutures since b before I started doing surgery. Their products have not only been tried and true with me, but they've been tried and true with the people that taught me. Each year, Ethicon makes enough material to wrap the earth 12 to 15 times. That's a lot of suture, especially when you consider the care, craftsmanship and chemistry that go into each strand. While Ethicon's manufacturing footprint is global, our journey beyond legacy starts at the end of the rainbow, at a US facility in Georgia. It is here that Ethicon's suture material is made. I went there and it was so fascinating to see how difficult this is. The delicacy of especially the smaller sutures and how much individual work goes into each one. Sutures are designed at the molecular level. Different chemical components and manufacturing processes determine a thread's properties. Each is designed for a specific job and tissue layer. Sutures can be designed to be absorbable or permanent, braided, monofilament or barbed based on the job that the surgeon needs to do. These attributes are generally created in five main steps that vary by suture type, but are all strictly controlled by Ethicon to ensure consistency and quality on a global scale. The first step is polymer synthesis. This is when a monomer becomes a polymer. If you can think of a monomer being like a single unit, and then you take those monomers and you polymerize them and you build them into very, very long, long chains, that would be the polymer. So it means many units. Ethicon works with four different monomers that, when heated and combined into polymers, deliver different properties. After polymerization comes pelletization. The polymer melt is placed into a pelletizer, which hardens and then cuts the polymers into small little pellets for easier transport to the next stage, extrusion. Until now, nothing we've seen remotely looks like a thread. Extrusion is when the materials take shape, literally. First, the polymer pellets get shuttled downward through a vessel called an auger which delivers them to a dye that will extrude the polymer into fiber, similar to making spaghetti. The fiber is then stretched and rolled at different speeds. It is here that various properties like tensile strength are being set into the fibers. You know, it's like making spaghetti, but very important spaghetti. The care control that each of the operators have in terms of making sure we're following our recipes appropriately. It's a pretty nice process. Absorbable sutures have a limited number of days between extrusion and getting to a finishing plant. Otherwise, the suture is unusable. We have to move that material through the process in a certain amount of time, or we actually have to throw it away. Based on the underlying chemistry, the fibers either remain monofilaments, a smooth glide through tissue, or are braided to create multifilament sutures. Braiding allows the thread to move and adapt while staying strong and secure, important for tissue that expands and contracts. If you think about a suspension bridge, the cables that hold that bridge up are going to be in bundles of cable, not in one solid piece, because that gives it more ability to move and adapt to the structure of the bridge. 
this can be pretty time consuming. On the braider, it travels around for 10 days making braid. And it takes a whole bunch of braiders 10 days to make one lot of suture. Some sutures are coated. Here, the finishing touches are added, such as lubrication, or a special antibacterial coating used to create plus sutures. Those plus sutures have been proven to inhibit bacterial colonization of the thread for seven days or more. How's that for a finishing touch? The thread is now ready to leave the plant, to be attached to its needle, then packaged and delivered to the OR, where it will perform its life-saving duties. At Ethicon, thread goes beyond a simple strand of fiber. It is the culmination of Ethicon's technical skill, experience and commitment to quality and consistency that set its products apart in the OR. If you give me a plate of ingredients and you come to my house for dinner, or you go to Wolfgang Puck's house for dinner and he had the same ingredients, you get a very, very different meal. And so in our hands, the same starting materials, the same polymers, the same general processes can lead to a very, very different meal during surgery. At the end of the day, even with all the technology that we have available to us, 90% of the problems that we deal with have to do with suture. We really become dependent on those sutures to manage those problems. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Check out the other episodes in Beyond Legacy. Until next time.